Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the difference between the num and numhash function. So generally it is a matter of confusion between or among the uh, experienced developers about what really the difference is when you use the num or numhash function or in which scenarios we really need to use it so that our numbers are formatted properly and it is in a format so that end users can read it because whatever you produce has to be properly consumed by the end users. So in this video we will see the basic difference between the numhash and num function and here I have written a quick definition about both the functions which is very much uh, or very easily interpretable by you by uh, just looking at the function name. So here as it says for the numhash that it reads or parses the string data so that click view can understand it and num is format the data so that it is interpretable as per end user's requirement. Well, if it is still confusing, then think like this, that in a click view system, first you need to read the data and understand it what the format of the data is. Well, that is done by numhash function. That means you are taking or consuming the data within the click view system. Then in that case, you are using the numhash function but when you are displaying the data in a proper format or the required format, you will going to use the num function. That means the output needs to be uh, formatted with the help of the num function. So num hash is inputting or reading the data and parsing it and num function is um, outputting the data or uh, formatting the data in a proper output. So let's see a quick example so that you can better understand it and we'll take a very simple example not a something very complex so to start with let's right click go to new sheet object and take a text object all right so let's take uh, first the num hash function and let's take so it accepts text so let's take the text which is uh, maybe one two three four dot five six seven eight very simple example and then put it its format which is hash 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 dot hash 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 that's the format for this number if that's how your numbers are coming from the database or any other input all right once you do that you click ok well that's how the data is coming one two three four dot five six seven eight so that means you are properly reading the data but let me take a little bit of twist over here properties and if i remove these let's say and two hash let's try to see what happens apply okay so as you can see nothing happens but the problem is that you are not correctly reading the data and may give problems when you are out uh, producing the output with the help of the num function. So it is your duty and it is the requirement that you are properly reading the data so that when you are applying the num function for the output, you are able to read it properly. So that's the first thing. All right, so the next thing is, let's apply a similar sort of operation on the, with the help of the num function. So text, equals to num and one two three four dot five six seven eight all right and then you are giving a format hash 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 dot hash 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 closing it clicking it okay well there is no change both the numbers are same then what is happening in the back end well let's try to do a similar operations that we did here on the num hash function let's try to remove these two hashes click apply and okay and now you can see the num function is actually formatting the number or the string that you are passing to it so that's the basic difference very clearly you can see when you are removing the last two when you were removing the last two hashes from the num hash function it was not doing anything because it is meant to just read the data but if you are uh, doing or removing the last two hashes it is rounding it off to the two decimal places dot five seven so that's the basic difference 
between the num and num hash function that num hash reads it and it is our duty to read it properly and num function is basically helpful in out giving the right output or the right format that you can display to your end user now let's take a quick example of uh, another complex thing and which may be very helpful kind of a trick that i can say so let's say we have something like uh, uh, but before i tell you what even we can do is we can combine both num and num hash function and that you would that you would have seen in most of the cases if you would have seen a lot of examples over on the internet when you were searching for num and num hash function that both have been used uh, in conjunction to display the output so let's try to do it over here so first thing is this that we have already uh, read the data now let's format the data so put a num function and within that the num has hash function which is reading the data and then put the format in which you want the output within the, within the single quotation hash 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 dot hash hash well that's the output we have done it over here so here we are just combining both the functions so that you can also become master uh, when doing these kind of complex things click apply and now you can see the output is changed to the two digit so it's very simple it's just that we need to have a basic understanding about what is the difference between num hash and num and then how we can use both these functions in conjunction all right so the next thing is uh, a little trick i want to uh, give you is let's say you usually get uh, maybe the project ids or some id numbers which is having some prefix like uh, pj001 that means project 001 or with some other initial so if that is a consistent thing and you want to just get the number out of it and format it in a proper way so it can be project number or any other requirement so for example we have pj1234 that means project 1234.5678 some sort of number in which you are getting from the database or any other input source and you don't want pj in that and you want to format only the or you want to get the proper output format for the number 1234.5678 so what you can do is within the num hash function you need to first read it properly so for the number 1234.5678 we already have hash 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 dot hash 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 so that's fine but just prefix again this format with pj and then leave as it is entire thing so once you click apply you will see that the 1234.57 is coming but not any prefix which is here in this case the pj but if you remove it let's say you are removing the num that means you are not formatting you are just reading the data click ok then you get the proper formatted number uh, which click view is reading based on the format that you have given but if you want to format it for the output of the end user where you don't want to see the pj as coming as a prefix then you can use num and then the same format hash hash and click ok click ok and the pj will remove and it will be rounded off to the two decimal places so that's the basic difference uh, today i wanted to give you about the num and num hash function and how you can use it like a pro uh, when you can combine both num and num hash function as well as in scenarios like where you are getting some prefix or suffix or some sort of fixed data which has alpha numeric values where you just want to get out the numeric values.